course. All right, you guys. What's up? Welcome to my kitchen. Ocean's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing with the stingrays and how I'm marinating it. In your kitchen. Whose kitchen? Uncle Ocean Kitchen. Oh, sorry, Uncle Ocean Kitchen. Check this out. Baby. All right. So we got the stingrays, right? Yeah, stingrays. Mm -hmm. We cut them. My little helper. And did, this we, is did, our... we, did we cut the stingrays? No, you didn't see it. You went inside, remember? And if you guys are wondering, he's wondering. You can tell he's thinking. Let me see. Let me see it. This is our stingray. What do you think? It smells good? How, was it? Did you cut the face? Yep, I cut everything. How did you do that? I cut it when you weren't here. So you guys are wondering, I chopped up the stingray yeah. into strips. And Uncle Ocean Kitchen, and we cook for him. <laughs> yes, he's, yeah. you're going to eat some. I'm not going to eat some. I don't want to. Okay, well, you're going to eat it anyways, because I'm going to make him eat it. He's going to like it. These are my secret ingredients. Is what I've used and what you are about to witness. And it's my ingredients. <clears throat> Garlic salt, <laughs> some chicken oil, olive oil, some Asian seasoning, ground chili garlic oil. Oh that is going in it. Black pepper. Make. It might be too spicy. I'll leave them out. And then, one. Let's cut Spider-Man. <laughs> Why do you want cut to? Cut him. You want to cook him too? Yeah. Alright, we'll cook him after. And then we also got soy sauce and sweet soy sauce. Don't cook my watch. This is what we're adding Don't into. It. Don't cook. I want this. My man, I need. <laughs> Anyways, the secret ingredient is this guy. If you guys don't know what this is, this is oyster sauce. Can he say Oyster it? sauce. Can I have Go ahead and get your container. They sell these in small bottles, but this right here is the best. Alright guys, if you see this right here, I'm going to take out my watch, but this is the ingredients we use. Get that out the way. All the ingredients, we mix them up together, and then a final touch, some soy sauce. Yes sir. So I get the flavor into the meat. This is three stingrays, just to let you know. every single drop and we're gonna add a little bit of this guy just enough that's already salty that's it olive oil to let all the flavors stick that's one cap two cap three cap three caps of olive oil Sweet soy sauce. Just dress. Just a little bit. We can cook this. The dress. We can cook the dress. Do you want, um, what are you thinking to cook the dress? That sauce right here. I'm going to add this guy. Just half a spoon. Just, that's it. Mix them in both of them. Gives that little kick. Yes, sir. No. There you have it, guys. This is Stingray, Bat Ray. So we got all the ingredients. We have fish sauce, soy sauce, black pepper, sweet soy sauce, chicken powder, and garlic salt. Secret ingredient, oyster sauce. All that's mixed into here. Now we're going to marinate it up.
we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and then tomorrow morning i'm gonna let it out set it outside until probably until five o'clock when the sun is at its most peak so all that sauce will soak into it and then sun dry it get the moisture out and then bam we're fried up tomorrow like spicy what are you doing you little helper you gonna eat this tomorrow yeah no yes you can eat it tomorrow i don't want spicy stuff it's okay you're gonna learn The rest of the stingrays. Yeah, get all that sauce in there. So when you get the stingray, you want to kill the skin off. I should have done that when I had it and bleed the stingray. Look at this. This is all stingray. See the fins? See I cut in strips just like that. You just got marinated. So when you put it in the refrigerator, it won't stick. And once it's, it's thick, that's it. That's all you need. Let it sit here. All right guys, so I'm finished with the marination. Now I'm gonna bag it up and put it in the fridge. All right, so you bag it. I can cover it up. Get the air out, push down. Get all that sauce in there. And there we go. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. All right, let's put it in the refrigerator. Just wait till tomorrow and then we'll put it outside. Alright guys. Alright. So Veronica and Marco, they're gonna help me out. They're gonna put this in a they call it a dry net. So the flies won't get to it. So what you do is you just grab it and lay it all in there. Just just lay it all next to each other. Layer by layer. You might have to like stick it on something. It might be a little heavy. That pot itself is like I'll hold it too. probably 20 pounds. What? Alright, Marco's holding it up and Veronica's putting it in. And then we'll show you after they finish the final product. Alright, guys. Check it out. So I have my little sister and her boyfriend put the fish right here. Check it out. See that? So we got the stingray baking in the sun. Got on the fence right now. It's the best where we can actually hang it, but kind of shade right here. So I'm gonna put it in the spot where the sun hit, where it hit it the most. Probably somewhere over here. Yep, and that's how you do it. So after it dries up, I'm gonna I'm gonna fry it. All right, guys. All right, that's it right there. I'm just gonna hang out my light poles. That's strong enough to hold it. All this meat is not that much, but if you think about it. This is three stingrays, just the wings. That's it. All right, guys, so we just got back. It is 6.26. And my mom's going to check. So we still got another day or two? Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, so and tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. let us sit in the sun. It's still wet, no, we still wet. Okay, yeah. that's fine. So we're going to tell tomorrow until it's fully, oh yeah, you can see it, it's still white. So once it turns red or so, and it gets like dried out, it should be good. And then you can deep fry it and then cook it. And then it's going to taste so good, man. Just wait. <laughs> oh yeah. Hold on, hold on. So this is right here. That's the stingray. And this is the man who caught him right here. 
he caught that's his little portion he's gonna take back and do samples with his family yeah and then we're frying him up right now and we got some people who's willing to uh take first dip all right matt thank you for the stingray bro mm -hmm. yeah. so that's the stingray let me know how it tastes first bite did you try it <laughs> you explain to me what it was like. You know what? I'm gonna have to put a tape on, but that's not bad. It's different. That's all it is. It's strange but different. Yeah. You gotta try it. some. Nah. Yeah, you gotta try some. There's no gaming taste in it. No, it's not. It's, it's just straight up like meat. It's good for the ball. For my yeah. Time yeah. So when you put it in rice porridge and baba, that's where it's going. That's what it's called. Nah, nah. You know, it's almost like a, it's almost like a mass mix. Yeah. So you get like mass. You, you can't, un, you can't understand it. Is, yeah. Is it like bass? Yeah. yeah. It's like bass. Like bass. Uh, yeah. See, that's what I'm trying to say. It's almost so, like a bass. Yeah. I eat a lot of bass, uh, man. I, I say, I say it's mixed with like chicken. No, no, no. Bass. Uh, yeah. But, uh, uh, the, the season to overtake the flavor of the fish. So you can taste the, the, the seasoning, yeah? Yeah, I can taste the seasoning too. Yeah, I can taste it. It's good for beer. <laughs> That's all it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see.